This is Connor Wyckoff here reporting for East Texas Explorer. I'm here with Dallas Cameron, sophomore point guard for the SFA Lumberjack basketball team, and I'm here to ask him about last year's success and the upcoming season. I asked Dallas what he had to say about last year's success. Well, coming into college my freshman year, I'm coming from a winning program in high school, so you know I was expecting the same things coming into college and last year winning 32 games, you know, I, my expectations were met and College basketball is just like a whole different experience compared to high school basketball. Uh, the games, so it's like so much faster, and just everything is just different. And it was a great experience. You know, being away from home was kind of hard, but you know, coming out here and playing basketball for Coach Underwood for the program and for the school is you know probably one of the best things, best decisions I made in my life. Um, last year, we just had a chemistry where even though we didn't have the best athletes compared to the other teams. We just had that team chemistry and that team bond that we were able to just get through any type of adversity that we faced. And we were able to just pull out any win in any type of situation. And you saw from the VCU game, I mean, that's, those were tight, like almost impossible things to get through. You know, down by four with, I don't know how many seconds left, but it seems like it's impossible. But, you know, we found a way. And, you know, we were, we were blessed. I always give thanks to the man, to the man upstairs. He blessed us with, to get that victory, first NCAA tournament win in school history. You know, really thankful for that. And we just we just keep working harder every day. This year we're trying to do better than we did last year. We got the third round last year, so now we're trying to you know take it a step further. Final Four championship, anything. We always strive for the championship, no matter what. And um, you know the new players that we have coming in, we have you know, in my opinion, we have better athletes than we did last last year. So it should help us, and we play a tougher schedule. So as far as seeding goes in the tournament, it's going to help us out because, you know, with a tougher schedule, they're going to they're going to just give us more notoriety if we get the, the wins that we're supposed to get. Dallas went on to say how the team is able to form such a strong bond. Well, you know, with the, the new athletes that we have coming in this year, they've come from all all sorts of places across the nation. You know, I got my high school teammate from Florida, one from St. Louis. We got somebody from Alabama. So. That's a lot of personalities, different personalities that we have to mix in together. We have to make some sort of chemistry and bond because you can't win without that chemistry on the team. And the way we do it, really, a lot of it is just through tough workouts because tough workouts will create a bond one way or another because if you don't, you're not going to make it through. So that's one thing. And, you know, we spend a lot of time with each other. We try to get to know each other. We try to find things that we can relate to with one another. And that, that's the type of things that helps us you know, create that chemistry, create that bond, that continuity amongst the team. And it's a long process at first, but it's worth it. And when people f buy into the system, you know, new people coming in, they're coming from different systems. Some people come, come from junior colleges, some people come from high school. And when you buy into the system, the program, and the way that we do things, then everything meshes together, everything comes together, and you create success. Dallas talked about the upcoming season and the hurdles they'll face. We'll be playing a harder schedule this year, but in my opinion, one of the biggest things that we're going to have to get over is getting past last year and, you know, not trying to, trying to hold ourselves at that standard. We have to create our own identity. We're not the same team. We got different people, and, you know, we got different people not only on the team but in the front office, all that type of stuff. So we have to create our own identity and become our own team. And once we do that, then we'll finally see that success, the same success that we had last year, and hopefully we can do even better. This is Connor Wyckoff with East Texas Explorer.